Welcome back to Good Day State Line. We have a new friend from Cellular Sales to meet this morning. Logan Wilson's here from the Belvedere store. Good morning. Good morning. How, How are you? you? I'm, <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great today. We also match, which I just noticed. Yeah, Congratulations yeah. on yeah, picking out too. the right outfit. <laughs> uh, so we're obviously going to talk about Cellular Sales. Uh, tell me about, about you and why you work there, how you got started. Yeah, so um, just a little bit about myself. Um, I was actually kind of... Um, in a position of the unknown and just looking um, <laughs> looking around for opportunities and I found this opportunity with cellular sales um, wasn't really anything I ever expected mm -hmm. uh, to do with my life and here I am and I've been here about a year and a half now and I love it. That's awesome. So what do you do at the Belvedere store? Um, pretty much everything. That's <laughs> um, great. <laughs> uh, we're, you know, we're a, we like to always say we're a full service location so we help people out with, you know, not only getting new devices, phones, iPads, um, internet solutions, you name it, but also, you know, when people are having issues with their electronic devices, um, we help fix things and, and repair things and just anything technology related, we, we help people with. And of course, this year has been so different in, in so many facets, but having to use technology has been so important. Yeah, it has. Um, you know, during the pandemic and everything, a lot of people have been at home with tons of time on their hands. Yeah. Um, and using, really using their devices a lot more than normal. So um, we've definitely seen an increase in data usage on people's sure. phones, yeah. So a Cellular Sales is in Belvedere and it is a Verizon authorized, am I doing this right, yep. retailer? authorized retailer. Okay, <laughs> Verizon authorized retailer. Um, and you guys have some uh, positions open. So if somebody wants Definitely. to find themselves having the wonderful experience you have working yeah. there, wh who are you hiring? What are you um, looking for? Yeah, we're hiring. Uh, we're always hiring, really. Um, it's a it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, we're just looking for people who are self-driven and motivated um, and eager to work. Um, I can truly say this is the only job I've ever had where I look forward to going to work every day. It does not seem like a job at all. Um, so, you know, we do all the training for you. Uh, I did not know anything about the industry coming into it. We have about a you know three or four week long training process, okay. so then we get you on the floor ready to go. So it's an awesome opportunity um, for people looking to learn new things, or if you already have experience in the industry, great, even better. And a lot of people are looking for jobs right now, so it's so good to know that you're hiring in yeah. Belvedere, which isn't that far from you know where we are right now. So I find it fun that we're going to do this with you reviewing cell phones because you've only actually been working in the cell phone industry for a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to talk about. So we're going. I'm going to get your real opinion on okay. these phones about the best and worst phones of the decade. So let me first start with the BlackBerry. So tell me, tell me what you think about this BlackBerry. What does this mean to you? Um, it actually reminds me a lot of my father. Oh my god, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> uh, he had the BlackBerry, and I actually don't see... On, I know there are a few different models of the BlackBerry, uh -huh. but I know they made one with a little roller ball in the middle. Yes. And that's why my dad uh, loved it, because he wouldn't go to an Android or an iPhone because of the roller Until ball. Until they, like, just... They, they, they don't make BlackBerry They don't anymore. make them anymore, okay. yeah. My dad, same thing. So my dad actually worked in the airline industry, so he was, like, the first person to have a pager that I knew, yeah. and there was something else in the middle there. I forget what it was called and then when he got the blackberry it was like very official yeah. and for his emails and right. he didn't want to quit it until yeah they it was made very it. business oriented phone. <laughs> it was. we also have uh, the motorola flip okay so <laughs> this is this is the motorola flip out phone yeah. but the other version of this is the nokia twist and that was yeah. my phone when i was waiting tables when i was 22 and i'll yeah. tell you exactly why i bought this phone the other side of the screen was a mirror Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a square. Yeah. And I thought, how cool. I have a square phone. Um, the only problem is the pictures were square also right. and blurry. Yeah. It and was, it got dirty. It was a cool phone for that time. That was like the trend to be able to flip out your phone right? and have the keyboard underneath. But I think so. I was the only person I know who had it. <laughs> <laughs> we also have um, the HTC One. Oh, yeah. I think I might have skipped one. There we go. Yeah, the HTC One. So this kind of looks like an iPhone. It sort of does. Yeah. I don't it's really got remember the... this one. I don't know what HTC stands for. Yeah, it looks like an iPhone. Also, some older Androids where it has the button in the yeah. middle. It's not too different than what we see now. So then the iPhone came out. I want to say I was in college when the iPhone came out. Yep. Um, Nick Barnard, my friend in college, was the first person to have an iPhone, which I think a lot of people watching can remember yeah. that first person they knew who had an iPhone. Do you know who the first person in your life to have an iPhone was? Uh, I think it was my older brother. My see, older brother is the know. first to get everything Apple. So. Right? <laughs> Um, LG had the chocolate phone, which, yeah. this, does this look like a picture of that one? I thought it was brown. Yeah. 
Uh, I think <laughs> they made it in a few different colors. Right? Yeah, I remember that <laughs> I one. The actually, found. the circular dial there in the middle, that was to turn the volume up. You could just oh. move your finger around in a circle and that would turn the volume up or down. See, I was just busy with my mirror phone. I missed <laughs> all of these. The last one we're going to talk about today is the old Razor versus the new Razor because you actually have the new Razor I do, at yeah. cellular sale. So I think yeah. this is the old one, right? That is Obviously, the old one. Obviously, that was a yeah, dumb question. <laughs> this is a flip phone. So the old one, not, not much any different than... Um, any other flip phone you've seen? It was just skinny, right? Skinny, yeah, very yeah, thin. Kind of uh, like a razor. The new razor, actually, oh, there it is. Um, it actually opens up, and, and it's a big, one to big screen, screen. Uh, opens up to a full screen smartphone. You know, that looks like pocket friendly. I know that there is some other phone that's coming out this year that is very, opens up like really yeah. big, and that yep. doesn't seem pocket friendly to me, but that right. one like doesn't look so it's bad. It's actually very small, and it fits really nice in your pocket. Uh, and then on the outside of it, it's got a uh, display screen where it shows you the time, and oh, you can like actually that. make he knows everything about it because he has them at cellular sales in Belvedere. <laughs> if anyone wants to come see you guys, uh, where are you located? Uh, we are at 1912 Gateway Center Drive uh, in Belvedere, um, right off of 90 on Genoa Road. Um, you can also reach our store number at 815-770. 5255 and you can also visit CellularSales.com for more info. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, Logan. Of course. Logan. Happy That's to be fun. here. <laughs> Coming up next, I'm so excited to introduce you to the newest wedding and event space in the state line, the Twisted Tulip in Machesney Park, and later everything you need to know about this fall's vintage shop hop.